Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Hopefully you enjoyed the first look that I put out for the pumps and hoses pack. Um, today we're going to do a little, I want to call it a tutorial. It's still somewhat new to me, so I'm kind of learning as we go. But I'm going to do the best I can to kind of guide you through all these pieces, parts that go together and help you figure out what you need. Um, so first off, we're going to start with the most basic kit that you can have for this DLC. Uh, the things that you need to get out there and start using pumps and hoses to your advantage. Um, and so I've kind of put together a little kit here showing what the things are you need to get this working. Now, you don't have to pick the same equipment choices that I have. But this is the simple kit. So uh, you're going to need two tractors. One of them is going to need to have over 70 horsepower. And I'd say probably you'd be happy to be over 100. Because it's a, we're pulling around the hose and this device. So if, if you pick a smaller tractor, you're going to have trouble. Then you're also going to need a second tractor that has over 160 horsepower. Reason being is that you have to run this pump. So, um, yeah, you're going to need two tractors. So one over 100 and one over 160. I've picked one that has 132 and one that has 200. Should be a, a plenty of power to do what we want to do. Um, next up, from the pumps and hoses pack, you're going to need, well, uh, in or I'm sorry, from under the pallet section, I picked a 300-meter hose. That should be enough to cover the field that we're going to do. But if it's not, we'll have, we may have to pick up a second one. We can connect them together. Uh, I also picked up um, the tool to connect them, and I'll show you where that is. Hang on. Under miscellaneous, you will find this $100 hand tool. We do need it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab that. It's important. Uh, and that will show you there. That's how we attach hoses to each other. If we need to attach a second hose, we have that available. Next up, we have a spool to put that hose on. I'll show you how to do that. Very easy to do. Um, then we have the contraption, okay? It's going to have a slurry container. This is just the in-game grant. Uh, and over here, okay, so these take a lot of, a lot of chutzpah to move. Um, if you fill this thing up with 65,000 liters of slurry, which is what it carries, you're going to have a really hard time moving it with a 200-horsepower tractor. You need a big, big tractor or a semi-truck that has a hitch on it to move it. Um, these do not move easily. That's why I've added the second one in here. Now, the Zunhammer costs a little bit more and holds a little bit less, but for the tractor setup that we have, this probably will work better, but we'll play around with this one. If we can get this to work, it does hold like triple the amount that this does. So you can use it for a lot longer before you have to refill it. Um, once again, you can fill these with slurry or digestate. Uh, and I'm not going to get into the um, all the other things. The pumps and hoses comes with so many different things. I'm going to have to cover it in a separate tutorial. This is just how to use the actual pumps and hoses portion. Uh, they've also given us a biogas plant that you can make. They've given us some um, manure slash digestate separators. That's totally different stuff that we're doing today. I just want to cover with you the base usage of the products that came with it. Um, we can get into that in another video. There's some really like deep stuff that came with pumps and hoses. But the first most important stuff is the actual pumps and hoses themselves. So that's what we're going over tonight. So I just want to set that boundary or standard so you guys understand what we're looking at. Um, and then, of course, last but not least, under the pallet section, I got that 300-meter hose. So let's – we're going to grab our smaller tractor. And I'm going to grab the hose reel and put it on the front. And I'm going to kind of use that as a counterweight also. So when the hose is off it, we're going to keep it attached to the tractor. Let's go ahead and hook that up. And then I'm going to back in over here. And I'm going to pick up our uh, spreader. There we go. 
And last but not least, I'm going to run over here to the hose. I'm going to pick the front. You, you, if you can see up the top left-hand corner, I am picking the um, front unit. And we're going to attach this. Now, something that you need to keep in mind with this setup, there is no maintenance available with this setup. So at some point, you're going to have to rent a compressor, and that is... Uh, I'll show you where. Instead of being under miscellaneous, it's under slurry tanks. We have a compressor right there uh, for $29,000. You could rent it, and you're going to blow the hose out and clean it. And there's a, you'll see a status thing on there that shows 0% as we're cultivating, or I'm sorry, as we're spreading slurry, the hose is going to get dirtier and dirtier. Um, and once again, you'll need this to clean it out. Um, or uh, does this have a compressor? Um, this guy can be purchased with a compressor, this uh, PW-121, so you could use that to clear it out. Um, but anyway, we're not going to use that right now. But I just wanted you to have a heads up. You will at some point have to rent this to clean the hose out uh, or buy it so that you always have it. But the hoses do get dirty over time, and they will build up. So I'm going to go ahead and run this over to the field that we're going to be working on. I'll be right back. And now we're back for the bigger tractor. And I'm going to grab this. Now, you will burn through slurry and digestate pretty quickly. So I suggest that you do make a lot of silage um, and have lots of cows and pigs, and you can get lots of slurry. Uh, another way you could do it is there is a mod in the Mod Hub. I don't usually use mods in my tutorial. But there is a purchase point called the Manure and Slurry Buy and Sell Point. And I'm going to go over with you how to install that. Not install, but how to use it here. Because we are going to need that. Uh, I don't really have any cows on my demo map. But this is an easy way to get slurry if you run out. Um, so you simply install the mod. And I'll show you what it looks like. We go into our our store menu and we go to the construction menu sorry wrong button nope I don't want cows <laughs> construction there we go and we're going to go to our um, production menu and you'll see here at the end after all this other stuff there's a manure and slurry dealer pack and you click on this device here for slurry and it'll say place this on your farm to buy slurry all right we want to buy if you go to the selling points there's one here that looks just the same but it says place this on your farm to sell slurry you gotta be careful make sure you grab the one from factories and it says buy and that's the mod manure and slurry dealer pack and it's part of the game now i don't know if it's available on console i know people always ask me those things i don't know and i apologize um, I would imagine it is, but it may not be. Um, some of these are, you know, scripted. I, I think this one seems like it would be, but it may not be. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up. And I think, yeah, there we go. It's, it's close enough to be filled. I don't. Let's see what happens to the tractor. I'm a little bit concerned the tractor is going to flip out. But watch this. 65,000 liters. And this is why I like that mod. It cost us $4,000. So... For the same amount of fertilizer, we'd be looking at probably at least double or triple that. So it's a cheap way to get slurry if you don't have any of your own. It's still cheaper than using fertilizer, but it does cost. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, fertilizer might be easier to use. Um, all right, so so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to bring up this menu so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put down the... Uh, I'm going to lower that, uh, where is it? I want to lower the grant. Oh, I just detached it. That's right. Okay, so now we're going to take around to the front. We have this pump. And the pump just has to be located somewhere near a slurry source. Now, of course, this is our slurry source. So I'm going to bring this over here, and we're going to set it up right there. And it'll attach to that blue um this part right here is where it attaches. So we're going to sit this here, and I'm going to leave that running. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this tractor, and I'm going to go ahead on here. And once again, up at the top there, you can see I'm, you can see the white going through there. I'm picking the front device. And we're going to turn here, and we're going to make this as neat as possible. And we're going to, um, I'm going to change this to unwinding. I'm holding the left bumper, and I'm pressing up. So we're in the unwinding mode. And now I'm going to start unwinding by pressing down on my control pad. You can see there the hose just fell down on the ground. And as I back up, it's going to unwind. And when I get down to, um, let's see, it started at about halfway is where I want to get there. Once again, this is 300 feet, 300 meters. So I want to unwind it about 150 meters and then make a U-turn. Hundred and seventy meters, hundred and thirty. Worry about there. Okay. Now I'm going to make a U-turn. Trying to keep it off the field if possible because we're going to do this field a little bit too. Uh, it's on the field a little bit, but you want to try to keep it off the field as much as possible so you're not running over the hose. And then we're going to bring this back. And it's going to be a little bit short, but that's okay. 30 meters left, 20 meters, and it drops the hose right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to back around here with the back of the tractor. And when I get close enough, it's going to trigger and say, hey, you pick this up. You want to pick this up? And I'm going to say yes. So what I have to do is I'm going to pick the back tool. See there again where I'm changing it, and I'm using the Y button to change it. And I'm going to say I'm going to hold the left bumper down, and I'm going to unfold the umbilical injector. There we go. And that back piece is going to swing around, and as it gets close there, you can see we have... We have a attach umbilical hose, and I press left button and Y, and now that hose is attached, and you can see us dragging it along. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. We're going to go down to the end of the field and make a turn. Unfortunately, the hose is going to be on the field where we're starting, which sucks, but in real life, we, we should have planned that a little better. You don't want to run the hose over, so don't. later on we can come back and do that section by moving things around a little bit. But we'll have to skip that for now. So that part's done. Now we just need to hook up the other end. So I'm going to get out that tool I told you about. There it is. And we are going to pick this up. And we're going to bring it over as close as we can to the pump. Right about here we'll go. And I'm just going to drop it on the ground and hop back into the tractor. And I should get a menu item here once I pick it. There we go. Now I've got, I've, once you have to select it, so I've selected that front thing, uh, the front pump, and it says, attach the umbilical code, cl uh, co hose by pressing left bumper and Y. There we go. Hose is attached. Now I'm going to lower the pump. There we go. And I'm going to press X. As long as you're near a slurry source like this trailer, you'll be able to use this. It doesn't actually attach to the trailer. That's a little bit of a bummer, but it doesn't. Now it's on. So we're pumping slurry. Nothing will come out until we start. Now, uh, the nice thing is, okay, so we can go ahead and, and apl apply it, but this allows us to do the double application rate. So it gives us 100% right away. And you can see here the slurry is being spread on the field. And we're dragging the hose behind. If I select, it doesn't tell us how dirty the hose is. That's interesting. Hmm. So I don't, I'm not sure how you know how messy the hose is if you don't have a compressor. Um, I'm sure in real life they probably, you probably have to, they just tell you, like, you've got to use a compressor. Like, it's, it'd be like running your car without oil, I would imagine, some something bad like that. Like, you just, you're supposed to use it. And so you can see back there, we're slowly sucking slurry out of that tank. And it will run down and run, we'll run back down again. And the hose is being dragged behind us, which is really cool. We're going to get to the end here, and I'm going to stop. 
and we're going to raise the injector for the headlands. And we're going to make a turn. And I'm going to come back down the other side. And you can see we've given ourselves the 300 meter is plenty of length for this field, probably plenty of length for that field too. Like it, it's to go. I think they come like what they come 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 meters, and the 500 is for a really big field. But you will run into those, and once again, you can attach them to each other. So you can, if you find that you're short, you can always buy a longer hose and do it that way. You can see there. Our bin has started to empty. Yep. And so once again, this is the most simple kit that you can use um, and, you know, easy to use. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next item that we're going to add in. Uh, and that is where we get a little bit more complicated. Um, so I will be right back and I'll get that set up for you. All right. Next up, we have level two. This is where we add water into the mix. A little bit of a disappointing fact. You don't actually have to have a water source. This pump is the water source. You simply activate it, and as long as it's by a slurry source, it will add water. You don't even have to connect it to anything. It just automatically fills things. Like if I park it next to this, this has a water tank. It will fill that water tank just by being next to it. I'm sorry, it doesn't have to be by a slurry source. It has to be, a, it has to be by a water tank. And once again, this has a tank in it, so this will be near it. And then even better, if you just leave it running, like park it out there and you leave it running, It'll keep this filled up. So as this empties, this will fill it back up again so you can continue to use um, the slurry and have water going through. Why do you add water? Supposedly, it helps the pump stay cooler, obviously, uh, and cleaner. So water helps push the slurry through, keeps the hose clear, keeps the pump clear. Um, so really, this is the recommended setup. Um, it'll keep you from having the – I mean, you still have to compress, clean the hoses, but I think it'll take a lot longer before that happens, and it just it's better for, for the overall health of the system. So uh, basically this pump now, uh, now that we're not talking about the water, this does the same thing as the other pump, but it also has the water tank on it, so we can use this here to push water into that, and then that will push water out into our slurry. Plus we have a nice reel on top for our hose. You don't have to have the reel that I have on my tractor. You can just use this to bring your hose with you. So I'm going to go ahead and run these out to the field and get them set up so you can see how they work once they're set up. And I will be right back. Oh, and by the way, the this is self-powered, so you can just drop it off. You don't have to keep um, a vehicle with it. But the pump with water requires 200 horsepower. And you can see even on that John Deere 7, which is a pretty large tractor, the 7R, uh, it is a... It's like going to pull that tractor over because it's so heavy. So you got to watch because that is it. Um, it's a bit of a heavy pump, so you're going to need a pretty big tractor or a 200 horsepower tractor with a, a decent weight uh, on it. So, uh, so I'm going to set this up here for now. We're just going to park right now, and I'm going to go grab the tractor and set that up first. I'll be back. All right, we're getting out in the field with the pump, and I am. Uh, gonna pop this in I'm not sure where the hose connects but it's gonna be somewhere around here so let's go ahead and connect that left button there we go it's connected perfect and I'm gonna scoot it a little closer to this to this trailer and I'm gonna lower it and I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see change to unwinding it's not letting me turn it on yet so maybe I need to be closer No target found, no pump. Tar oh, I don't have it hooked up to the tractor. Uh, <laughs> like, why isn't this turning on? Oh, uh, because I need this. And we're still going to use, th for this demo, we're still going to use this one. Because um, why not? 
So we'll get our Kubota back in there. Once again, this tractor remains the same for the horsepower. We're going to go up for the next setup. We're going to have to go up in horsepower, though, because there's have, not necessarily because of the horsepower requirement, but because the next setup uh, is a lot heavier weight-wise. So you need a bit of a bigger tractor to operate it. But we'll get there. I'm getting ahead of myself here, which I do, as you guys know. If you've been around my channel long enough, you know I tend to get ahead of myself quite a bit. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this here. That's hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and back this little guy up. Put him right there. And we can just drop him off. And I'm going to hop into this. If you pr press, you enter it like a vehicle. And I'm going to turn it on. The pump is now working. Okay. And you'll see that this... Uh, um, tank, you're going to see it filling up. There you go. And I'm going to hop in here. Nope, wrong one. Get in the tractor. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate this pump. I'm going to lower it first, though. Set it on the thing. And we're going to go ahead and activate it. And so now that's running. So now we have water running through our hoses, which should help our tractor um, or help the uh, hose stay cleaner and the pump last longer, less wear and tear. I don't know if they actually model that, where the, th the pump will wear out faster if you don't use water. It's an interesting concept. Um, it may. So we so far we've seen the, uh, I believe this is called the, S the 8020 SB, this device that we're using, and it's nice because it's an all-in-one. But let's say you want something bigger or... They have one that does cultivation also, so you're not just um, putting down slurry, but you're also doing cultivation. Well, there's a tool that we need for that, so we're going to grab that next, and I will demonstrate that. Uh, but here, I'm just going to finish the, this pass, and then we'll switch over to the next setup. So you've seen this now. We have water going in, and we also have slurry going in. Very nice and easy. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and lift that up. And we're going to fold this up. Oh, i got to detach that first. So that's that for that. Uh, I'm going to fold this up, and I'll show you the next setup. See you guys in just a second. I just wanted to correct myself. I said it was an 8020, but it's a SB8020. It's actually the SP8040. This is, what, this is the device that we've been using. So the next evolution is it allows us. This one is 8 meters wide. This guy is 12 meters, and this guy is also 12 meters. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between these two, aside from maybe the way that they applicate. I, I don't know. But it, all they are for us, really, is distribution. Um, so I don't know why you'd pick this one over this one. They're the same length, but you would. Uh, but in order to use either of these or this guy, which also cultivates, um, you have to pop this. Uh, device onto the tractor which is makes the whole setup pretty heavy and i'll show you how to hook it up but we're gonna we'll grab one of these first that's the the tool and we will grab i'm gonna grab this guy for testing this stuff is freaking expensive and i'm gonna buy the cultivator we'll do that one last and i'll show you that with a different pack because there's more stuff this is crazy how much stuff came with this uh, all right so there's that so I'm going to grab stuff. I'll be back. All right. This was a bit of a challenge the first time I did it. I was trying to figure out. I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do. But what you do is you come over here and grab this. And then you bring this forward. And you're going to unfold it. So we're going to hold it on left bumper and A. And that gets unfolded. And then this has to slip underneath all right, so we're going to back under here, and this has to go, it's really weird how this goes, but it's got to go underneath it, like, perfectly in the middle, or it starts moving stuff, and then you can attach. And then you're going to uh, fold it up once again. you got to pick it in, see, how, once again, I'm picking the devices. I'm picking that second device in the middle, and I'm going to say fold, and that will put that arm back up, and now we can have tractor will travel. So this is the second setup here. Actually, third setup, really, because we're using, now we're using water, and we're using a bigger pump, 
and we're using this thing. And you can see on this John Deere 6, 6 Series tractor, 6230, this is heavy. And it's pulling the tractor down. And that is a 280 horsepower tractor. So this equipment only has maybe a 200 horsepower rating, but there's no way. You need a much bigger tractor. So well, this tractor, I would say, is too small for it, honestly. But we're going to get some weight to help balance that out. You know, I got John Deere weight, but I forgot. I'm going to use this. Now, this reel has a weird added feature of having an additional slurry tank on the front. And supposedly what it does is it allows the slurry in real life, the feed to be more consistent because you have this, this gets this little, um, bay isn't the correct word, but this um, tank on the front fills up as a buffer and you then have extra slurry in there. If there's an issue with delivery, uh, it continues to deliver smoothly. So that is, I'm adding that to the setup just to see how it goes because it's kind of unique. So we're going to go ahead and fold this down. We're going to unfold the, um, no, I want to, I don't want to do that. I want to, where's the unfold tool carrier? There we go. And this allows us to connect up to our hose. And left button Y. There we go. We're attached. And I'm going to now select the back tool, and we're going to unfold the slurry distributor, and we're going to not lower it yet because we're going to go around the corner. I'm shocked I haven't seen that fill up yet. Mm. No dang hose actually connects to it. <laughs> Maybe we have to actually fill it up manually. I don't know. Seems kind of useless to me. But you can see how long this is. You're going to see that thing jerk back behind us. What the? <laughs> oh, we got to do that too. Lower tool. There we go. And we're just running our hose over. This is not working. Why not? Do I need to turn that on? No. This I had this working before, so... Why aren't we getting a feed? Um, oh, the pump isn't running. Why? Okay, we're going to lift this. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I'm sorry. Lift. I used the cultivator. Okay, there we go. Now that's doing what I wanted to do. Okay, so we're going to come around this way. I need to get that hose back onto the side. We need it. Drag it this way. Make a big U-turn. There we go. Now it's off the section that I'm going to do. And we need to go over and turn our pump back on because apparently that's shut off. Maybe that's why that front thing isn't filling up. So let's go see. Why did it shut off? Maybe because I went too far away. The tractor turned off. No, the tractor's still running. Is this running? Hmm. How's this thing looking for water? Activate that pump. Okay. And this thing looks like because it filled it up, it, it's turned itself off. Now it's working. Okay, they're both running. Okay, everybody's happy. Okay, learning experience for me too there. I don't know. I hadn't had that uh, done before, but now it just happened. So there's a first time for everything, right? Low, lower tool for application. There we go. And this is a nice wide applicator. Once again, I'm doing double application, so that will allow us to have 100% fertilizer, um, which is nice. We don't have to mess around with other fertilizers. And you can see, once again, the level in the slurry tank has gone way down. It's still there, but it is going down faster now.
So there's a lot to keep track of, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm gonna turn around here. And I think we'll do one more pass on this field, and then I'm going to show you the what I would say the penultimate and final. There's two more stages, really. One, really, but we're, we're going to... There's two different slurry tanks that they've given us with the pack that have some neat features. Um, and I'll show you both of those, and then we'll do the cultivation stage with the last one, so... Once again, I'm not seeing the hose condition. Um, I don't... It only shows up, it seems like, when you have the compressor hooked up. So that's interesting. But, okay. So there's that applying with this cool setup. And we're going to keep this hooked up for now. Because we're going to still use it for another pass. But I'm going to go grab... Uh, the other devices that we have. So we no longer need these uh, pumps. I'll show you why. So I'll be right back. These are the two slurry tanks that I was talking about. Now, the nice thing about both of these is that they have the water storage on board, so you don't need to buy this $70,000 pump. Instead, you could just buy this $72,000 trailer and have... Uh, a uh, pump built in and it also has water built in so um, this has a pump it has room for liquid manure and it also has room for water and that allows you to do all the things that we've been doing on the field without having to have this and uh, you'll still need a water pump though so that still needs to be there but and then even better well let's go ahead and grab one of these there we go we're gonna buy this we'll try it out and then for the last application we're going to do with, the, with our cultivator, we have this very specialized shouting, shooting, shouting, whatever, ideal trailer. It can be just a slurry tank and a pump, which is what we have here. Uh, it also can uh, hold, so the platform standard here. We can put a platform on the back. I don't know why you do this, but, oh, I do know why you do this, because I'll show you why. Well, there's a little secret to that. Uh, we're going to put the platform on it. Um, now, right now, this is set up to just carry manure, but we can also have it do, and this is how I would set it up, have it have manure and water. There you go. Uh, and then last but not least, you can have a reel, <laughs> and you can have a compressor. <laughs> so this can carry all of your stuff out to the field and do it all in one. Now, the only thing, though, is... Uh, you can put the water pump. I think maybe we can still fit it. I'm gonna try it with this real thing on. Um, but it becomes very expensive, one hundred forty-three thousand dollars. But once again, this is an all-in-one. It's got a compressor to keep the hose clean. It's got water to keep the hose clean, along with your, your ability to carry your uh, liquid manure. It has a reel for your hose and a platform for the water pump. So it's a very nice all-in-one package. So we're going to go ahead and grab both of these. Uh, the first one we're going to try out is this one that's just the pump. So I'm going to go take that out to the field. I'll be back. All right, so I've got a really big tractor, and I've got this hose that's going to attach to it, hopefully. Yep. And oh, you got to get near it. <laughs> Why? Uh, wrong buttons. There we go. I clicked. I'm sorry. It drives some people nuts. My wife's always like, don't click. I can't help it. All right, I'm going to get in here. <laughs> this pump's off, of course. Gonna run that pump. So the water pump is gonna fill this up with water. And it's already got slurry, and now I'm gonna activate this pump. So that pump's now running. So nice, this like I said, this device has it all. It's got the storage, it's got the water, it's got the pump. It's a good deal actually for what you get. Um, you get a transport for your slurry. It's all the things that you need in one package. Uh, and it holds 45,000 liters. Now, I'm going to point that out. Although the other tractor has a, com or, uh, the, although the other trailer that we got has a compressor, which is really cool, and a little platform for our water pump, that's cool too. That only holds 9,000 liters of slurry. The one that we're using right now holds 45. That's a pretty big dang difference. Um, we're going to lower this. Yeah. Nope, did it wrong. 
There we go. Oh, and you'll notice my front tank filled up. That's cool. Shouldn't be using it all, though. That's interesting. We should be sucking it from that, which I think... Oh, yeah, we are. It's going down. So we'll do one more pass and see what happens. What would be neat is if it actually attached the hose. Oh, yes, it's going. Okay, so when I lifted it back up, my buffer filled back up. You see that? It's back up to 2,200 liters. Pretty neat. All right, so we have this field pretty well covered. Still missing a segment, but I'm going to go and move on to the what I would say is the final section. Um, yeah, so there's, I'd say this right here is probably our most efficient setup aside from using, you know, you can obviously switch this tool out for a cultivator, uh, but you've got that big, that big, you know, vat full of slurry, 45,000 liters of slurry, and we're not going to run out anytime soon. So uh, let's go ahead and detach the, to the, the toes, the hose, and I'm going to actually um, fold our slurry distributor. And we're going to drop that off, and I'm going to pick up the um, cultivator. I'll bring that out here with the other tractor. So I'll be back. I'm going to get set up for the last portion of this video as we take a look at the cultivator and also our um, that other trailer that I was talking about. So I shall return momentarily. All right, so I'm bringing this out. I'm going to drop the cultivator off first. Oh, I forgot to fill the tank up, but I'll just take a second. Don't run your hoses over in real life that... Ooh, I can see one irate farmer. <laughs> you just found a $7,000 hose. Uh, all right, so I'm going to drop that off, and we're going to go ahead and uh, take this around. Fill it up. I'll be back. I'm going to get this filled. I'll be back. All right, so I got it hooked up. First thing you got to watch, if you try to hook the hose up near the back of the um, – hang on one second, folks. As I was saying before, I really interrupted myself. Um, the hose needs to connect in here. If if you want to wind it up, you connect it back here. I got the first time I did it, I I saw the the trigger and I pressed it and it connected to the reel. Duh. I want to connect it here. So um, now because this has a compressor on it, theoretically we should be able to see the pump, but I'm not. <laughs> Detach umbilical hose. Nope. Unfold pump. A. Wait. Detach a hose first. Oh, okay. Unfold pump. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. And then attach. Wait. Change unwinding. No, attach. Yep, the hose is attached now. And it's still not showing us. The status. Change to unwinding. Open cover. There you go. Okay, well that's for the this is for the water, and I watched a developer do this, that's why I know that. They designed that little hole for the water thingy. For a magical water maker. See, in real life, you'd put this near a river or something, and then you'd, you know, run a hose back to this machine. And I, they kept it simple. Uh, I was expecting it to have to hook all these hoses up to everything. Really, the only hose you have to ever hook up is the one between the tractor and the pump. There are really no other hoses that you hook up, so it's a little disappointing, but... I'll do this eventually someday. This doesn't have to be done, by the way. Oh, freak's sake. I'm so close. There we go. There you go, little fellow. Oh, look. It, it bounced right in. Sweet. So you can see there, it really is meant to go there. It just it bounces right in. So 
let's go ahead and enter this and we're going to go ahead and um, activate the pump and now I'm stuck I can't get out okay there we go squeak squeaker squeak squeaking uh, and so can I close the cover there we go and we'll leave it at that Okay, so that is in there now, and I think you just leave it there, maybe. Though it comes up, so I'm thinking maybe it would get squished. Uh, all right, so back to the tractor, and we're going to hook this up. This is our culty plow. Oops. It gets on there pretty easily, though, but... And we're going to go ahead and unfold the cultivator. Cultivator is a little bit narrower than our widest... Uh, spreader so we're going to lose a little bit of wideness and once again disappointing a little bit how small that tank was I thought it said it carried 9,000 but it only carries 3,000 so that's like totally bogus dude um, so that machine's going to run out of slurry real fast um, so once again I think the black square container is the better or the square distributor pump is better than this one, even though it's kind of cool how it takes the little guy, um, our little friend, the uh, whatever it's called, the culty plow thingy, the water pump. So I'm trying to say, <laughs> I can't talk and play at the same time. It's a problem when you're trying to do YouTube. Okay, so there you go. We're cultivating. I don't have this at double application rate, and you're gonna see we're gonna run out. The buffer's gonna run out pretty quick. I'm interested to see if we have enough hose to get all the way down. We may, we should probably should have moved our, our whole. What's going to happen? That thing's on the field. I left it. It looks like we have enough to get down, but will it get hooked or will it just pull underneath it? It's probably just going to pull. Oh yeah, it just goes right through it. Farm sim. Once again, though, what they did is pretty impressive. And like like Straw Harvest, this is another one of those that, oh, we ran out of slurry. You can see there where it ended. I wasn't paying attention. And, oh, 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 O'Reilly's. Um, it ran out there. And so uh, that pretty much ends our demo. But that's why I don't like that tank. That tank is going to be running out. If it only holds 22 or 32,000 liter, 3,200 liters, you're going to run out like every two minutes. That's going to be really aggravating. Um, so I would say thumbs down on our little silver tank there. But, it, you know, it's, I wanted to show you how it works, and that's the whole point of this video. So you got to see um, how this works and all that good stuff. Uh, and then we can, you know, wind all this up. Is it empty? No, it says it still has 3,200 liters of slurry. You know what? I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> I never activated the pump. <laughs> and I was right. It is 9,000 liters. Look at that. No, it is. It's 9,000 liters of water. What? Why would you? I don't understand that at all. Why? <laughs> Once again, I'm going to look in the, the menu because I feel like that's a mistake. Hold on. Arthur gets confused. It happens. It's real life. Uh, okay, so once again, we have our Schluten. No, it really is. That's how they have it set. Why would you do that? It should be the other way around. You should have 9,000 liters of liquid manure and 3,200 of water. I don't. What? Even here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, it is what it is. I feel like that's backwards, but because that's a really short slurry run. But maybe you're supposed to. I don't know. If somebody knows what the difference is with this one and why you would even bother with it, let me know. Because to me, it seems like that's completely useless once again the only thing i could find where they were actually using it was in german 
So I have no idea what they were saying. They were just like, Schludenbaden, Gudenjitenbaden. And I'm like, okay, yeah. So uh, it's the end of the night. We're going to go ahead and pack this up. I'm going to uh, fold the pump. Nope, detach the umbilical first. There you go. Folding the pumping. And let's see. Yeah, the little guy stays on there. That's cool. And then um, we're going to put the umbilical hose to the back of this guy. Um, maybe. Why is it lowered? Change to unwinding. Change to winding. I think I have to hit it. For, there we go. Okay. And to wind it, we're just going to simply turn around. We're going to pretend that we're, we're doing some, some role play here. And I'm going to, let's see, change to winding. I did. And I can't wind it. I think it's because it's still attached to that other tractor. So I'll be right back. We're going to come here and we're going to detach the umbilical and go back. Oh, my reel is too small. Not enough capacity on the reel. So you have to read those too. This is a 300 meter hose. I'm not sure what the capacity was on that. I didn't check, but it's too small. So you need a bigger one. Um, yeah, so I once again, I haven't found anything where you need two items, but maybe you use one of these with water and the other one with slurry I, and you use them together. I, I don't know. Once again, I, I haven't found anything where you can hook up more than one hose at a time. So, but they do give you the ability to even carry two hoses sometimes. So I'll have to watch through and see what else I see. But that, I think that gives you a good idea of how it works uh, in general. Um, if I find out something else, I'll make a second video as an addendum. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as we tried the different pieces of equipment out and uh, kind of give you a little tutorial so you can see how it all works. And give me one second. Sometimes you find something that other people miss, and I think I just did. So, you know, once again, learning experience, new pack. Apologize for misinformation. But I'm thinking that this device is going to sit next to us. And maybe I'm wrong about this, and I don't really have – well, I guess we could kind of – no, because that's a purchase point. I think you sit this next to a slurry point. Like, if you have a slurry well uh, next to your cow pen, you park this right next door and start it running. And then you run a hose to your, you know, um, uh, cultivator or slurry, slurry spreader. And I think what happens is this pulls slurry continually from your source and then also has water um, for you to use at the same time. And so the slurry gets pulled and the water gets pulled. And um, but it's a continually it's continually pulling from your slurry tank because they did make it says with the pumps, all of the pumps like pump like the the two that we used at the beginning of the video that you can place it near a source of slurry. And that includes it said like trailers, slurry pits. Anything that has slurry in it, uh, slurry tank, um, it'll pull the slurry from there. So I think that this tank really is supposed to be filled up with water, like I said. Uh, it can be used as slurry only, but if you use the water option, it's because you're placing this nearby um, a source of slurry. So like right next to like your slurry pit. And that's why it has such a small capacity. Basically, you know how that tractor had the buffer in this tank? How I had this tank buffer here of 2,200 liters, because that's the same size almost. It's only 3,200 liters on on this guy. This is this only holds 3,200 liters. So what I'm thinking is that's a buffer. It's pulling it from the, the, the slurry source into here as a buffer and then off to your tractor. And so I am uh, pretty much betting that that is what that's for. So... Uh, I haven't had a chance to test that yet, but that's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and like I said, I'll bring more content of this um, as I figure out what the other things do uh, that are more in the construction side of this. But I wanted to get through at least the the main part of the, the pack, which is really the pumps and the hoses. 
And so we've covered that tonight. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And I will see you next time. Bye.